Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer in the previous video we have discussed about how to customize the Odoo website portal and we have added a new section with the name courses and inside this, this section we have added the detail of all the courses available and uh, if we click any of the courses we can uh, see the detail of uh, the individual course but here one thing is missing uh, like if i show you in case of quotation if you go to uh, open any quotation so you can see this navigation buttons so we can go back to the quotations uh, list view and then uh, navigate to the quotation form view but in case of uh, courses we cannot navigate back uh, like in this case we cannot navigate navigate back uh, to the list of the courses so in this video we are going to add uh, this option and we need to add another option uh, which is uh, this one like uh, back to edit mode uh, so uh, for this purpose what we need to do is first of all we need to understand the structure and the templates that are using in this case so uh, in order to reach to this uh, XML code uh, we need to uh, activate like inspect element and uh, here we can uh, see like this is uh, this is the main uh, thing which is uh, like this is the class that is added here for this option so let me copy this class and go to pycharm inside the add-ons we need to search for this class so here we can see this class is being uh, added and in multiple places but we need to search inside sales because this is actually uh, related to sales so this is the the code where we need to add modifications so uh, for this purpose uh, Odoo added this default code so it has inherited this uh, template portal uh, breadcrumbs and uh, it has inherited uh, and used xpath uh, to add inside this location this code so we just need to copy this uh, code and then we will uh, make the adjustments uh, so let me just copy it here and let me paste it at the bottom okay just do it like this so let me paste it at the bottom or uh, i will edit here like this and what modifications we need to do is uh, to replace the sales with our uh, courses and courses this is okay so we need to keep it as it is because uh, we want to inherit the same way and here we need to add a uh, page is equal to code so here we need to add if the page is equal to courses but for this purpose we need to pass this parameter from the uh, uh, from the controller also so if you go to the portal uh, yeah, sorry not portal inside the controller dot uh, py file in our custom add-on and um, like this is the uh, method which uh, displays the list of courses so when, whenever we click on any of the uh, like on the um, courses menu uh, like at the top let me show you so when we go we click here it uh, redirect us to this path and execute it, and this method is called so it pass uh, all these values and here we need to add uh, another value like page name so here uh, in this case the page name will be courses course the page name is course so we need to add here if the page name is course uh, and we need to delete this filter okay and we just need to add here uh, like if our uh, course what this means it, this means that uh, when it should be an active button and when it should be not an active button so uh, I will explain this here uh, like if if course is uh, anything then uh, if it is not course then uh, it should be active but if it is course then it should uh, not be active 
and here we need to add if our course then uh, it should be on the path like this one actually we need to add this path because this is at the path where we can see the list of courses uh, keep query and here we need to add courses and here we need to add courses actually we don't need this uh, section to so remove it and here we need to add course and we don't need this one also and here we need to add course like this so uh, let me just upgrade uh, uh, this module and then uh, uh, and then uh, let me see uh, the, let me show you the change uh, that has been added so first of all we will have to uh, restart all the servers because we have also made a change inside the controller and then we uh, need to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will uh, be able to see uh, this change what will be the change it should add uh, a slash and then course okay the module has been upgraded and let me go to the portal page remove this inspect element and refresh the page go to courses here you can see courses so it is it will work like this but um the next thing we need to add is uh, to add this path here uh, at the top of this template so for this purpose we need to understand like uh, uh, for example, uh, what we will uh, follow, we will follow the template of uh, projects because it uh, it is more like uh, uh, like the view should look like this one. So for this purpose, we need to understand this uh, template. So let me go to this uh, view and then go to this uh, path uh, which is called root, uh, and we need to switch to py okay remove this my project okay sorry we need to search inside the add-ons uh, so this is the root uh, where it uh, needs to uh, it is uh, going to uh, and this is the template which we are searching for and uh, let me search inside the examen and here are uh, two uh, like this is the exit template but this template is uh, a separate one and this is the template we are looking for and in this template um, you can see it has been added like a uh, portal has been called and then it has been added this option which added the option to edit in uh, like edit this uh, at the back end and then uh, uh, it added uh, uh, this portal uh, view so uh, I will copy this whole uh, template like this one and then I will paste it here similarly like we need to remove this one and we need to replace with this one. okay so uh, we need to add uh, like this we need to replace uh, the ID and uh, then here uh, it is like uh, card open uh, portal is uh, will remain the same and it will remain the same so here we just need to add the model which is open academy dot course and here it will be like course dot id okay and then this one uh, we need to make it course it should be course dot name and we don't need the other section okay like uh, the other section is for this purpose so we don't need this one and here uh, we don't need this design we have already designed it and we will add it like this okay so remove it like this and replace with this code okay it is done and uh, like we have added uh, we need to call at the portal uh, we need to add the whole code inside the portal so uh, that it uh, it show this uh, navigation buttons okay and here we need to make it like uh, my course 
so uh, and after that um, what we have used here is uh, let me show you I have added here a uh, course okay uh, like uh, page is equal to course so we need to add the same thing here in the second uh, controller method like in this one also so that it uh, gets called so we need to pass uh, like this page is equal to course because uh, this is the same as the course page so let me at the start go to service and then upgrade the module and then uh, we will see the change okay upgrade it so uh, after the module upgrade we will uh, see the change so uh, the module has been upgraded successfully and then uh, let me uh, go to the home page um, home portal page and refresh it and then go to courses and then uh, go to this course so here you can see the navigation has been added now it is new this means that uh, the course is not available so if we click here it will uh, it will open the form view of uh, this course like you can see at the backend but we got an error message so let me just uh, open another one like this one and go to edit mode so here you can see this is the edit mode where we can edit it and um, let me go back to the original view to the portal view okay so how we can move it go to website here and my account and then courses also open in course so this is how it works and if you want to go back to the list view like this and you can move it to any course and then go back and if you go to the home uh, portal uh, view you can go it like this so this is it for this video if uh, you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also uh, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to uh, click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you